One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. So OPGN, okay. Let's say uh, this is hot chick of the day the front side of the move, right? Uh, I've been doing a videos how to, you know, trade those ETB stocks. Uh, I think this one is not ETB, but uh, the volume is it's pretty insane. And uh, so how how can you trade those right in, in, in the front side? And as you can see here in the pre-market uh, um, and uh, pre-market here uh, went to like, uh, you know, two to three and then dies off here, pop some here at open. Uh, like uh, 2.5 like for me I wouldn't be looking on you know something like this to add to my winner uh, because technically the the mid of the move or like the mid is not much you know there for you and you can see you know this is the range that uh, the stock has been grinding for the last few days and so you know when the stock kind of popped to 2.9 I mean if I could get a good entry here you know, I probably would, you know, add it some uh, on the way down, but and uh, my target would be uh, near that uh, 2.3 line, right? But since uh, you know uh, stocks kind of die in the pre-market and then pop, and you know, right open uh, to like 2.5, and technically you have only 20 cents left on that stock or like the meat of the move, right? So there's not much room for you to kind of add there. And so I, I would definitely avoid those uh, on a, something like uh, to add to my winner. I think the only logical way how you can trade those is after the death candle. I think James did trade on this. And this is the death candle. Uh, it's pretty much the biggest of the day. Uh, pretty much the biggest uh, of the day here and as you can see there's no not not many of the big red kind of and then just this one right uh, this is one minute uh, let me pull up the two minute it's easier for you to see uh so you can see this red kennel that's that's pretty big sign or like uh you know with the volume as well i made a video on, uh i made a video on that on the death kennel with you know decent volume that's a huge stuff right here right so you want to use like 50 percent on that short back into the pops and uh you know cover on the wash uh, but on something like this if you want to add to winner okay if you really want to add to winner and i'm not saying you know this uh, might work on the, the on, on the hot chick but what i usually do is if you, i really want to add to my winner uh, and kind of you know hold a little bit longer for the bigger move I have to see the big picture right I, I, I want to see the big picture here so for me uh, those stocks usually pop in the pre-market or pop at the open and ended up fading all day but this one midday right midday zombie and it just made a new high I think right like 11 or 12 here I mean you can add to winner and expect for it to kind of fade it all day but also you have to kind of keep in mind your risk management part right so let's say uh you know stock stop right here you show back the bounce okay so you got entry here let's say at four whatever uh four here right so how can you add to winner after that uh adding to winner yes you have to kind of wait for the stock to kind of break this support first break this and you want to add to <coughs> back on that bound in, into that support but uh what i usually do is uh, i try to you know get it short here and then just let's let's just say this is the first hour of the day okay so because i i don't like trading you know midday kind of zombie and this is just like one of the outliers uh you know uh, a little bit and and I, I would always prefer in the first hour or like you know the last uh you know one uh, like 2 p.m to 3 p.m and, and and trading those uh, but you know uh, this is just a technical kind of uh, uh, way uh, to show you how to kind of add to winner so one of the best way is uh, I'll wait for the kind of stock to break uh, that support before I even thinking about adding or re recycling uh, and I always you know stop out at the break even or just a little bit above that 
so uh, let's say uh, you 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 didn't short on to back in that bounce. Uh, you you uh, kind of waited, uh, you know, for for uh, for the stocks to kind of drop a little bit, and here you got a good entry, right? But adding to a winner is is really hard because you know why? Because our emotions, right? It's involved, and a lot of the times that okay, you got a good entry here at 4.1 whatever right and stock is already down like 3.3 and it's like when you see those kind of pnl let's say you in thousand shares here you up like you know i don't know like 800 bucks already it's really hard for us for human to kind of you know go over that and deal with the kind of emotions okay so i'm up almost 800 bucks here stock pop right back to this line almost like four and now i'm like you know form up being 800 bucks now i'm like you know up only 100 bucks so which is you know the 700 bucks it's kind of lost for me right and a lot of people couldn't deal with that emotions okay so hey guys my name is tosh bradley i'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in mic mic in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. That's why I said you always have to kind of, you know, battle uh, with yourself and you have to kind of deal with it, right? Basically, if you want, if you want to kind of aim for the bigger picture, Okay, so you have some certain plan, right? You have some certain plan before you even trading or like getting this trade and just try to stick with it, okay? Try to be robotic. I know it's hard, but that's the only way. You wanna kind of take that, uh, you know, kind of emotions uh, part, uh, you know, off. But if it's your plan, you know, you have to kind of deal with that, okay? So if your plan is to short here 1,000 shares, 4.1, your target is 3.1, okay? And you said to yourself, okay, so in 4.1, I'm risking, okay, let's say 4.2, 100 bucks, okay? So I just, right after when my, my fantasy got filled, I just put a range 4.2 uh, as, as a hard stop and 3.1 as, you know, a target, right? And I don't care about that. I don't care about what happened, okay? So even, you know, it dropped to 3.3 as I hit my target. I don't care. The worst case, you know scenario is that I'm gonna lose that hundred bucks so bit if you if you deal with that beforehand that's you know that's much more easier than instead of readjusting your plan during the trade and usually and the worst thing the the worst thing you could do is you get in here you know you had a plan and then it's not tanking okay and then you see those PL flashing back and forth and then you say, okay, uh, let me cover, you know, everything here or like, yeah, you know, you, you don't want to be adjusting your plan like that. Stick to your plan. Try to stick to that. Uh, most of the times, even wrong, you know, you're going to get stopped out. Okay. But it's already predefined, right? You already accepted that fact that you are going to lose that much. So it's, it's always come down to kind of, you know, patient and discipline following your plan daily and, uh, and that's uh, one of, uh, you know, the hardest part that we have to kind of uh, go through every day as a trader. You cover some here, 500 shares, you add it back here. Now, so now you back into 1000 shares, right? And you cover some here and then you left with 500, right? And then you wait for, for the kind of stock to break a, a new low. And then you add back into that bounce. Try, try to add only like, you know, if you like try, try to recycle shares. Not like, uh, you know, if you only have 500 shares, you want to add here 2,000 shares. That's going to screw up your average real bad. So you want to add like, you know, 500, 500 and, and you know, uh, just like a half and half, always like that. And and uh, and it's kind of easier for you to kind of define your average. Let's say your average is now at four and then you, you add back another 500 shares into this, uh, you know, 3.5. So your new average is, is like 3.8 right instead of you adding a bunch here like 2000 shares or 3000 shares that's the common mistakes for the new trader uh to kind of they adding too much and too soon okay that's why they couldn't sustain the move the thing about adding to winner that you have to be patient you have to be willing to take the risk okay 
and patient with your exit, uh, it's going to pay you basically. And if you predefine that, okay, I'm going to short here some at A, what worse is going to do, right? I'm going to stop out at 8.5, risking 50 cents here, 1,000 shares or whatever shares uh, you're using comfortable with your risk management plan. But you have to kind of track the setup and know what you doing well on you know any particular setup at all that uh, uh, you know it's, it's really up to you how, how how to choose but i'm just putting out example here but if your plan is to add to winner and hold for you know for the all day fade or like a bigger kind of picture move you have to be patient with those okay if that's your strategy if that's your style and a 8.5 here that's that, that's my stop right and I will not cover anything here because my target, let's say your target is right here. This is a support. Let's let's say my target is at six. Okay. My plan is to short at eight, risking 8.5. As soon as break this support, I'm going to add more size. So let's say I'm 1000 shares here. I'm going to wait for this to bring I'm adding. I'm, I'm going to be up like uh, 2000 shares. My new average would be 7.5. And my target is six, so a dollar and a half. You know, I can easily calculate that for you. Uh, you know, seven point five minus six. Okay, so two thousand shares. That's three grand, right? So that's my plan. Okay, so that's how much I'm gonna win, right? So if 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 it doesn't work, okay, let's say I mean thousand shares here, fifty cents, like five hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. You know, in order to make three grand, you know, you have to kind of deal with that. You have to kind of pre-calculate that beforehand and try not to let emotions in. Okay, so guys, so uh, I hope this uh, video is helpful today. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys uh, can uh, learn uh, something from this, uh, you know, but this is just like my way, how I approach things and how I kind of add to my winner. And I always wait for them to kind of break, you know, uh, support or like a new low I mean yes uh, you know could have screw up my average but that's I think that's the safest way how to add to a winner uh, and yeah guys so if you still have any questions uh, you know you can DM me at any time and uh, I look uh, you know to see you guys on the next one take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions please text Tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here